Moving away from that now, the National Union of Nigerian Associations in Italy has reacted to allegations claiming that over 300 Nigerians are illegally jailed in prison. The welfare officer of the association says such allegations could jeopardize the cordial relations Nigerians in Italy currently enjoy. Moya Thomas reports. Countries like Italy are the preferred destination of many Nigerians, especially those who embark on irregular migration routes. It has often given rise to speculations, often not confirmed, that Nigerian nationals get ill-treated in these countries. Recently, in a meeting with the chairman and CEO of Nigerians in Diaspora Commission, the former Edo State Commissioner for Arts, Culture and Tourism alleged that Nigerians were being illegally detained in Italy. This should not be happening. This is modern day slavery because the Italian justice system is very complex and corrupt. It was the first confirmation of what some have feared and we made an effort to authenticate this allegation. We sought out Michael Opute, who is the welfare officer of the National Union of Nigerian Associations in Italy. He tells a different story, refuting claims that Nigerians were detained without committing crimes and that the justice systems in Italy is tilted unfairly towards Nigerians. Some Nigerians were, were arrested. The moment we see a helicopter flying and one of their wives called me, welfare officer, around 4 a.m., they, they are taking away my husband. What happened? What happened? He said he didn't know that this is anything. The first thing I did, I, I, I went straight to the, to the consular, the police station. Then I saw over uh, 11 of them, they were about to take them to, to prison. After being tried immediately and judged, just okay, for now, let them go and be reminded in the prison. What did they do? I asked the fellow Nigeria, what did you do? He said he didn't know he did that. And before you know it, the police had to send me a video where most of these Nigerians were selling drugs. The Italian police, they don't arrest Nigerians, and Nigerians are not being targeted for anything. If Nigerians are targeted, the only, the first and only senator you have in the Italian parliament is in Nigeria, and you say Nigerians are being targeted. The welfare officer insists that, according to records, there are about 73 Nigerians in prison in Italy, and not over 300, as erroneously stated. Nigeria is one of the countries with the highest cases of trafficking of humans to Italy. This has for long affected Nigerians legally involved in work and businesses. The umbrella body of Nigerians in Italy is worried that Mr. Osaze Osawingi Eros' wild claims could affect their efforts to rebuild and rebrand the image of Nigerians in Italy. So at least, please, begin. there was a time like four or five years ago, it was difficult for Nigerians to get a uh, 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 permit of stay. Why? Because of all this crime, people fighting, cutting themselves publicly, of courtesy, you know? So the uh, people, they say, no, we don't want these Nigerians to be spared. If you go to the potential camp, you will find a lot of Nigerians. So the ambassador, the former ambassador, now treated this matter and appealed and said, please, it's not what you people are thinking. In every society, there are the good, the bad, and the ugly. The former ambassador started rebuilding, rebuilding, and we have done it to an extent now. That was when a senator, a, someone came out in Nigeria to contest in the in Italian parliament, and he won. We started building the name, rebranding our name. The Nigerian government is also asked to step up its efforts on its issuance of passports. Presently, over 60,000 of the Nigerian population of 200,000 in Italy are undocumented. Moya Thomas, TVC News, Abuja.